My name is Ramsey, and I promised to do the turbo mode this episode before I realized which character we were going to be playing. All right then, fine. Pilot turbo mode. I am terrified of this because I hate the pilot. Full stop. As long as we make sure that we try and go to the Abbey, of the, not Abbey the True Gun. Sorry, the the possibly go to the Oubliette and possibly go to the Resourceful Rat. We should be able to get enough value out of this run to not feel- What? Just a straight up empty room? Wild. Should be able to get enough value out of this run to not feel too bad about the fact that we start with a basic weapon that's really garbage. As soon as I can change my basic weapon though, as soon as I can change the weapon that I usually fire with from my basic weapon, to be more precise there, uh, we'll be doing so. A hundred percent. Yes, thank you. Actually, stay there. Thank you. So, lower prices in shops. I guess it's more important that I get money. Because I might be able to uh, afford something more expensive. And typically, that means better here in the early game. If I find, like, just a straight-up gun available in the store that I'm interested in, I'm just going to take it before I even go for the Boston's floor. I don't want to roll up against the Trigger Twins playing the pilot with my base weapon. I will pull all of my hair out, but not shortly before that, I will die. Don't ask me about how exactly I plan to pull out my hair uh, while I'm a corpse. That's Dead Ryan's problem. Oh, no, 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 no! Damn it, if we could have just exploded that in the other direction, we could have saved ourselves a lot of time. All right, blue cap. No, 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 no. I was really keen to run into the middle of the map there and then out of the left. Unfortunately, there was an enemy blocking my path. Hence the... No, 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 no. Sound like that cat. That cat? You know, that cat in that gif? We all know which cat in which gif I mean. Oh my god, really? All right, speedrun time. We're in turbo mode. It's speedrun time. Turbo mode finished gun, turbo mode finished gun, turbo mode finished gun. I mean, I'm probably still going to miss out on all of these boss rounds. Almost certainly. I don't know how I'm going to manage to do it, but I will. Raps, uh, Raps finds a way. Love that I can just reverse that entire thing to the enemy. Lovely. Ooh! Has this been fixed yet? Bullet, mimic, chest, mimic. No, it says Mimic and Chest. I wonder if it has the Mimic and Chest effect. I wonder if this has the possibility of opening chests. Let's go check this out. Actually, hang on. Is it just straight up speedrun? Do I skip all of the extra floors? Ooh, rolling eye, neat. Damn it! Should have tried to open that with the the lowercase r. That would have told me. So lowercase r has a synergy with the Book of Chest Anatomy that makes it say Mimic, Chest, Mimic, Mimic. Uh, if it says Chest and one of the bullets from Chest hits a chest, it unlocks the chest. Uh, that said, it's not supposed to be saying Mimic and Chest right now. It's supposed to be saying Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. But it's not. Mimic, Mimic, Chest. See? So that's my concern. I'm trying to run a little bit of tech here, but at the same rate, I mean, I should just be bouncing floor to floor as, as soon as I possibly can. So let's do that. At the very least, this has got to swing back around some of the people that are annoyed with the fact that I destroy as many low tier chests as I oftentimes find. Oh my God. Speedrun strats. Uh, this has got to appease people like that because in particular, like, the only way I'm not going to find the reinforced... Sorry, the reinforced gun, the finished gun, is if I just don't open that many brown chests. So either I don't open brown chests or I find the reinforced gun and constantly speedrun through the game. I feel like if I find the reinforced gun before I have absolutely anything else... Oh my god, yes. Yeah, we're taking that. Before I have absolutely anything else going for this run... 
uh, I obviously should go for it. Anyway, Curse Bullets is 10% damage up per point of curse that you have, as well as giving you a point of curse. The unfinished gun is... Sorry, finished gun uh, at this point is five points of curse. So the really cool thing that we just got is 60% damage up. It's pretty good, right? This run seems dedicated to making me use the finish gun throughout it. But yeah, we picked up the finish gun before we had anything else to work with. I could purposefully curse myself with those curse pots, but I'll just find curse items later in the run that I want to pick up instead. Not a big fan of giving myself curse for no upside save, you know, sick chamber or curse bullets or whatever it is at the time. Because there's enough items in the game that give you curse that you'll want to pick up. Just save it for those. Now, obviously, that doesn't always work out, but oftentimes it does. I hate how many of those you had on the screen, Amaconda. Yeah, the Amaconda had summoned like three of those at the same time, so I couldn't kill all of them. I killed two of them, and the Amaconda just went to the one that was furthest from me. Uh, I mean, I will take this gun. It, this gun, quote-unquote gun. Uh, I'll take the boxing glove. That's two curse up just for holding it. Yes, I know what I literally just said. At the very least, in this case, I have the ability to sell the gun later. Whereas I can't sell my own activation of a curse pot later. It's also probably a good idea that I get a little bit more practice in these episodes for the Rito and Raps Race the Same Map series. Because while I might not be the one who's supposed to uphold my title in that series, at the same rate, I mean, I've got to make a good showing. I've definitely won before in that series, because pretty much every single time I lose in that series, I hear, oh, are you ever going to beat Reno? And I'm like, I have. I did it. I, I did it before. I need to do it commonly enough that that is quashed. That's my only goal. I have no aspirations beyond that. Other than maybe a Reno and Raps Race the Spire series. <laughs> Just so Reno can experience the other end of the same thing. Or, I don't know, it's entirely possible that Reno just turns around and wipes me up in that as well. Because I'm actually not that good at speed slay the Spire. I like to take my time. Be slow. Not super methodical, I wouldn't say. There are definitely people who play slower than me. Uh... But my standard and my racing speed aren't that different. Chest teleporter, zap. Okay, that's interesting. Guess we'll use that. Holy Grail Golden Amulet. I mean, if I could if I could get both of those. That's pretty ridiculous. Gold amulet increases the damage that blanks deal and holy grail if you take damage you trigger a blank effect i mean i i long since have probably given up on the speediest path that i never mind 25 percent damage up uh it also has a synergy with this and so now this would usually be saying bullet plus one bullet plus one but it doesn't need to all right yeah no now we just ignore all the rest of the floor and go for the exits Again. Yeah, our damage is absolutely insane right now. We're probably hitting boss cap at almost all of the time. I would uh, hazard what I actually feel uncomfortable calling a guess. Oh my god. 
god. The shops have seriously had our back this run. I'll say that. Sweet. No need to use a chest teleporter if you can't find a chest to teleport. That said, if I find a chest, I'm just teleport to the next one. Oh, I should have. I should have probably just exhausted all of the ammunition in the D-pad and then teleported that chest to the next wall. How's it going? Hey. Uh, no, none in this room. Why would that be? Bye mm -mm. bye. The rest of this room is kind of normally annoying, but with the amount of damage we have, I suspect it won't be that bad. Great, 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 great. Yeah, because I actually probably could have just hit the targets through the fact that they had the buff on them because we deal enough damage. Just going to teleport that to the next floor. Seems a better place for it. Blood shop, and there's the hexagon there. I mean, the hexagon is really good, and a blood shop is really, really good, but do I need either of them? I might go back to that blood shop eventually, but do I need to? I'll probably go back just to get extra money before I go to the next floor, but... I'm not going to be too enthusiastic about it unless I find another shop this floor at the very least. Then I'll be significantly more enthused. And crush through again. Lovely. Ooh, getting these ammo drops fast and furious. Very much appreciated. Also, just shredding. Shredding even jammed enemies wild. Come on, silver bullets. See, if you're ever going to show up for me, this is going to be the run, right? Okay, so we actually already have the synergy with the pistol machine. I kind of want to use this for a while. It's actually real nice. It's got the shock round effects between its bullets. It does a really large amount of damage, actually. Hmm. Okay, that's not necessarily a special shot. Or an NPC. It could just be the cell grate. Yeah, it's just the cell grate. While I do have things I could possibly give up, eh, I don't have anything I'm super interested in giving up. Might as well leave it how it currently is. Ah! Damn it. Uh, I hate it when I've decided that, oh, this enemy is already going to be dead, so I'm going to base my action around that, and then I just roll into an enemy that's still very much not dead. It happens far too commonly. Crutch. All right, yeah, my aim is a little bit lackluster, but you don't need to rub it in, video game. I think I do okay in the aim game. Oh, good lord. That was way more complex than it needed to be. I just shouldn't have gone to the other side of the map. Don't need to agitate at all. All right. Let's go back to the finished gun. This is going to be a hilarious time for us. Again and again. I mean, this is just going to wipe them out one by one relatively quickly. And yeah, of course, we still have the Jams one on the map. That said, the Jams one doesn't really stand much of a chance against their own shots. Not a master round for us. Ooh, Cog of Battle, my god! Yeah, I'm going to hit these active reloads on the Cog of Battle. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get a little bit 
a little bit of money from the blood shop. If there's a super rare item next floor in the forge shop, I'm gonna want to be able to buy it. So I'm just doing the quickest version of what I can really get done there. But yeah, the active reload, I've actually got to check. I always forget Cog of Battle. I thought it was 75% damage up, but then I thought it was double damage for a while. Uh, okay, so when reloading, press the fire or reload button uh, when an indicator presses a certain mark on the reload bar. Instantly reload the weapon, decreasing the reload time, but also uh, it increases the damage of the next magazine by 75% and increases the accuracy of that next magazine as well. So it is 75%. Beautiful. So we have a plus 80% damage, a plus 25% damage, and a plus, uh, uh, plus 75. Now we need like a gilded bullets as well. Yeah, this one shots enemies now. The only problem is since this gun fires so quickly, We would be reloading constantly if we actually wanted to get the full effect out of it. So for that reason, I'm probably not going to use it all of the time, just most of the time. I can throw the... The, the punch gun. The boxing glove? Yeah, it's called a boxing glove. Punch gun. I can throw the punch gun into the gun muncher at the very least. It's one thing that I can get use out of it for. Because I decided for some reason not to sell it last floor. I think I just want the damage right now and I haven't found another cursed item to take its place. So might as well hold this, cash it in later, cash it in later, cash it in later, right up until I've just cashed it in for damage versus lich, basically. Okay. All's well. It feels like this could shoot off and also give us the forge room. But it's also entirely possible it doesn't do that. Ooh, never mind. Woo, turning the tables on me at the very end there, game. I like it, I like it. Making me think I knew what the path was going to look like and then throwing me for a loop. Using my own knowledge against me. I like it. It's like when a magician does the cups and balls trick, shows all of the moves that you'd expect, and then doesn't actually move the balls. It's the trick that amazed Teller in Egypt. Ooh. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, that's the ability to steal. Also in vulnerability in a fight. Also flight in a pinch. Does have a lot going for it. Right. We found the dragon. The only problem is like... With the ability to steal and a lot of money, I do want to see the forge at the very least. I don't even want to take anything from it. I just want to see it. Just let me see the forge. Well, it's almost certainly all the way down here at the bottom. The forge and the dragon's lair are not always close to one another. In fact, they're seldom close to one another. Frost bullets. Secret room. All right, nothing doing. Sweet. Let's bounce. Oh my god. I feel almost bad about trying to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click. I can actually. Hang on. I can hit the active reload in these combats pretty easily. If I just focus on the amount of shots I fired. I effectively have to Dirty Harry myself here. It's 
working out pretty well though i'd say maybe 60 percent of these i'm getting the active reload on them great definitely did not need to waste the blank there I mean, we're 20 minutes into this run and we're killing the dragon. This is turbo mode and we did find a finished gun at the very start though, so. I'm hardly gonna take much credit for it. I also could have been a lot faster, but at the same rate, some of the things that made me slower, like, you know, extra completes, looking for shops, those kinds of things, did result in us picking up some really, really cool things. In particular, the Cursed Bullets and the Plus One to Bullets, both of those were available in shops. All right. Shortest path, let's go. It is still entirely possible that I am on the shortest path. It is no longer possible that I am on the shortest path. Damn. I have been immediately betrayed. Never mind. Obviously, I was going to that extra room just to take that ammo. That was obviously the plan the entire time. It was a strategic thing, not a... Not a mistake. I mean, I should actively reload this gun before I go into any new room, right? There's no good reason not to do that. Good. Whew. Sweet! I was worried that room was going to be a lot harder. I kept expecting that there was another enemy in the room. Maybe there was an enemy that just didn't spawn or died instantly on the spawn, but yeah, that felt a lot easier than it usually was. Or rather, usually would be. And... Beautiful. So up... It feels like the, uh, the loop is actually going to be around here at the bottom, so I'm thinking up is the safest location. Safest direction, rather. You just stay all the way over there. Beautiful. Damn it. This is already starting to look like a bad idea. I will go exactly one more room before I admit that this was an awful, awful direction to choose. Because it could be trying to fake me out. I've had this happen before. Never mind. Again, this was just an area that I cleared for extra ammunition. Yeah, that's definitely looping back. Good thing I only went there for the ammo, though. Alright, we good. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Frost Bullets, for keeping the enemy away from me. But also, screw you, Frost Bullets, for slowing down the enemy. Enemy's death phase, or, you know, transformation phase, takes a lot longer when they're frozen. One of the things that means that I don't oftentimes use freezing weapons in late game. I'll take my extra blank, but since I had a hand off the keyboard right there, I couldn't immediately pick it up. Otherwise, I was going to have to roll to lose the burning effect on myself, and I was not prepared yet to do that. Savvy? Damn it, at the very least that went against armor, so the fact that it was jam shot didn't really mean anything to me. Obviously, that was to open the secret room. Again, these are all just instructive. Making no mistakes whatsoever. Just, uh, just happy little accidents that aren't accidents. That are obviously just teaching. Mm-hmm. Definitely. How many definitely's do you need to say before everyone understands that you're being sarcastic? Because I need to obviously shy off of that by one definitely because I'm not being sarcastic. Because obviously, definitely, this is what's actually happening. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Right. 
Just balloon up. There you go. I'm thinking off to the left. At the very least, if it's not off in this direction, we have a pretty easy first room to clear. And the second room isn't that bad either. And it is in this direction. Beautiful. Okay, so we completed three rooms this floor that we didn't need to. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I can kind of just stand here and staunch the lich. Like, what are you actually going to do to me about it, lich? That's what I thought. Did I ever end up with a boss weapon on this run? Not really. I'm going to use a machine pistol for the second phase. Just to swap things up, because I've obviously been using finish gun the entire time, but... You know. 26 minute run. Ooh, I have the active reload on this as well. This is actually hitting uh, the boss damage cap as well. Have a look at how many it's first, uh, or how much damage it's first hits of each clip fire, and then how that depreciates really quickly. Sweet. You know what? I'm going to finish the final ways with the pistol machine as well. Just use the ring of ethereal form to get up close and personal. Yeah, just do this. No, no! Ryan, don't roll off the map. My bad there. Damn it! I thought they were going to do the obvious next attack phase. They didn't even do the free damage attack phase. Ugh, what a hard lich fight. For the moment, though... Take that lich out. That's a turbo pilot. Look, if the game was going to give me mercy on any character and give me an early finished gun, at the very least it happened on the pilot. Because uh, honestly, I'm super down with it. I'm, I'm probably happier playing the robot than I am playing the pilot. In fact, I know that I definitely am. Oh, get that 5% damage up on the junk. Ooh, that feels good. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Into the Gungeon. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we'll see you next time.